Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Charles Sabanis. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, or entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things. And I will see them. And today we got a hilarious show in store for you guys. Uh, but before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe, uh, subscribe uh, to the channel if you haven't already. Let me go ahead and get into this topic here. So, as you guys know, the Lakers are one of the most enigmatic, entertaining, entertaining teams in the NBA. Uh, with every passing day, we discuss the Lakers in one in one form or another. Some people love it. Some people hate it. It just is what it is, man. They're the glamour team of the NBA, uh, and they are going to be the team that everyone is going to be talking about. Now, what's the central discussion taking place right now around the Lakers? And that has to do with their search for a new head coach, right? We've spent the last few weeks discussing who the Lakers are going to hire for their next head coach. And uh, some people have indicated that it may, it may be J.J. Redick or maybe somebody else, as you guys know. There's some breaking news that occurred yesterday that the Clippers signed Ty Lowe to a multi-year deal, I think, paying him in the, in the neighborhood of $14 million per annum. Good for Ty Lowe. Get your money. Get your stability. Go do your thing. Right? So what happened? Uh, this morning, I was going through the internet, and I came across a soundbite of Paul Pierce. Now, as you guys know, Paul Pierce is the resident uh, Lakers hater. He is a former Boston Celtic. Although, ironically, Paul Pierce is from California, so you would think he would be very supportive of the California team, but he's not, right? Uh, he, he's not, man. And he always be throwing shots and throwing jokes. One of the jokes he said was when they were talking about who's the best player in the NBA with the players that voted. And I think some people voted for, for Paul Pierce. And <laughs> Paul Pierce said, I think LeBron James is the one that voted for me. So Paul Pierce always be taking these shots, right? I think Paul is the guy that a lot of these LeBron guys didn't want to end up on TV, right? They just did not want him to end up on TV. They needed somebody up there twerking it up, knocking over drinks, you know, slapping each other with honey, running up and down the hallway, hollering and screaming, you know, just, 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 just disturbing the peace, just, just pissing it, just annoying everybody, right? Waking up the neighbors, just slamming doors, like all kind of crazy stuff, right? But nevertheless, Paul Pierce found a way to make it on television. Some people may say that was engineered by Skip Bayless to get somebody on TV to be trolling LeBron James on a daily basis. So what happened? They were talking about the Lakers' current head uh, coach search, right? And then it got, <laughs> and they were reacting to um, a Rick Buecher article that was written for FS1. So they were reacting to his comments, and then it came time for Paul Pierce to to basically you know, weigh in on the Lakers search for a new head coach. And Paul just started trolling and clowning the LeBron and the Lakers, man. So for the, uh, so, you know, for those of you who didn't hear, that's what, that's what we want to get into. But before we even get into what Paul Pierce had to say, uh, this video is brought to you by our sponsor prize picks, which is the largest daily fantasy sports platform uh, in North America. Prize picks is really simple. Instead of just selecting a team, you just select two or more players, pick more or less their projected stats, and then you place your entry. For example, this week, I'm selecting two entries. Stephen Curry for more than 25 points. And then I got Anthony Davis for more than two blocks. And Damian Lillard for more for more than four three-pointers made. Price Picks is also the only daily sports platform with an injury insurance policy. So, for example, if you have a player who gets injured in the first half and doesn't return to the second half, that player gets automatically rebooted. What I also love about Price Picks is that it offers weekly promotions like Taco Tuesdays. Each Tuesday, Price Picks discounts select player projections up to 25% to provide even more value. So go to pricepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match of up to $100. That's go to pricepick.com slash CLNS, use code CLNS for a first deposit match to, of up to $100. And remember, whenever you support this sponsor, you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So what we want to do now is want to play exactly what Paul Pierce had to say on the current state of affairs of the Lakers. Uh, and I want to come back and react to this comment. Take a listen to Paul here. Our man Rick Buecher wrote a sensational analysis uh, for FoxSports.com about whether the Lakers head coaching job is a great job or a not so great job. Rick's conclusion is the answers from sources around the league essentially boil down to this. The perks and advantages of the position still top the charts but the conditions of the job dull the allure and prompt coaches to sign on elsewhere if given the chance. A Western Conference scout said it's high on prestige, but it's bleep in every other way. But an Eastern Conference exec said, and I quote, the Lakers job ranks at the top 
because of the traditional level of talent you get to coach, a ton of national and televised games every year, the favorable whistles your team gets, the favorable schedule you play, and will always get another job because, quote, you were head coach of the Lakers. There's also some comfort in knowing you're going to get fired, and while the blame will fall on you from the Lakers' ownership and front office perspective, it won't be assigned to you by the rest of the league. <laughs> okay? Does that make sense, Paul? Okay, so scale of 1 to 10, how good a job is this Lakers job? I mean, you already know what he's going to say. I don't know why well, based on the way the, the, the roster's constructed, this was about a three. Mm. I mean, I, I see I don't see this as a long-term job. I mean, you look at LeBron, he's probably going to be there a year or two maybe. And then once LeBron leaves, I can see them trading Anthony Davis and going into a full rebuild. Because say they get J.J. Reddick and he becomes a coach and... It's not good to be rebuilding in L.A., not for the Lakers. You talk about, yeah, you're going to be famous, you're going to meet celebrities, you're going to be able to get into all the restaurants right at the top of the list. Yep. So if, you, if you're if interested in that, mm. okay, it's a good job. But if you're looking for the longevity and all the moving parts that come along with being, being a Laker coach that you got to deal with, you know, behind the scenes with Jeannie, you know, you're still going to have to deal with clutch sports. Uh, they're always going to be a monster in the game as far as politics. You know, Magic is always going to have a voice. <laughs> I mean, it's, just so many, it's always going to be so many moving parts. Uh, and I just don't see it as a as a job that any, like, coach that's been around the block would want to take. Uh, you know, when you, <laughs> you want to rebuild with the Lakers, you're going to get so much scrutiny. And... Will you get another job? Maybe. You can say you're going to have on your resume as a Laker coach, but if you don't win as a Laker coach, you get ousted. But on the flip side, when I really think about it, it may be a great job because you may sign a five-year deal, get fired after two, and go golfing at the Bel Air Club and just be sitting home getting paid. So if you look at it at that aspect... Skip, was you ever a coach for the Lakers? No. <laughs> it might be a good job to go home and, and, and golf every day and sit for three years and get paid, but... As far as, like, looking for something with some stability, that's mm. a three to me. Mm. Paul, that's Celtics talking, number one. Um, it's a 10. A 10? By far, it's a 10. I'm more in line with the Eastern Conference. You, win a, you win a championship, Vogel, you oh, get fired. Oh, oh, hold on. You get fired. Let me, let me, let me. All right, let me see. All that. So you're what Paul Pierce had to say. First off, man, I got to say this. This is, this is just something I've been... Thinking about watching various clips online from various shows and all that. Yo, them dudes, them, you, you do, dude, you dudes, you dudes from California, are pretty funny, man. I'm not, I'm not going front. You do, you dudes are pretty. Dudes from California, are funny. Even when they talking, uh, even when they talking uh, tr trash, they funny, man. Just the, just the words that they they be selecting is just. He be having me cracking up, man, and the way they be pronouncing certain things just be funny to me, man. The Lakers, you know, like I've I've been to LA once, man, and you know it's a beautiful place. And I actually got got a chance to hear the accent out there. You know, somebody grew up in New York, so you can hear it, right? They rhyme a lot of their their words a lot, a lot more. more. Uh, their R's are stronger, like Lakers, you know, and all that stuff. So <laughs> shout out to y'all, man. But but y'all lingo and the word y'all word choice. Be just be. I mean, it be cracking me up, man. But anyway, you know. Uh, but anyway, anyway. So back to what Paul had to say. Look, um, it it, it w w this is this is where we are right now uh, with the Lakers in terms of their head coaching uh, search. This is where we are, right? It's turned into essentially one big joke. Recently, they had Byron, Byron Scott, former Laker coach, former Laker player. Uh, he was on uh, uh, what is it, undisputed? And he said he wouldn't want the job. And and uh, Keyshawn was like, you don't mean that. He was like, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I do. Now, to Keyshawn Johnson, but yo, what Keyshawn be talking about some of these days, boy? Like, what? Keyshawn talking about 100%. It's like, what, what, are, you, what are you talking about 100%? What do you mean 100%? Paul is like three out of 10. Here he come with 100%. What, what about that job? Would make it a hundred percent attractive. What about it? Yes, you're playing for the Lakers, the you know, most popular sport, NBA franchise. Them and the, them and the them and the what do you call it? Them in the Boston Celtics. You're playing for them. They're glamorifying. You're playing in L.A. with the stars and Hollywood and all of that. We get that, but bro, there's a lot of instability. You just sit. You just sat there and watched them basically 
you know, a mincemeat, their last few coaches. They fired all of them in a, in a quick jiffy. And you talk, I mean, the average coach life now with the Lakers over the last, what, eight years, what, two and a half years, three years, and then you're out of there, right? So to say it's an attractive position, did you just see what Darvin Ham went through? Did you see the stuff that Darvin had? And you talking about it's an attractive job, and they don't play, and they don't pay premium dollars. I don't know what Keyshawn is talking about. Maybe he's just he's a homer. He's a Laker fan. And he just believes everything purple and gold uh, is 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 wonderful. But uh, back to Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce is hilarious, man. And I think he gonna troll the Lakers uh, uh, all off season, and I think he gonna troll them all of next season uh, if they aren't any good. So what I want to know from you guys, what do you think about what Paul Pierce said? Do you think there's any truth? Uh, to his analysis and also what do you think about today's show whatever you guys think uh, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section we catch you on the next show peace